So dear friends, today Rahul not only came to know the importance of nutritious and healthy food, but also about the different nutrients in each food which helps us to keep ourselves fit and fine. He is even ready to have milk every day. Now we will see why we need all these nutrients and how they help us live a better life. Let's learn about the sources and functions of these food nutrients. According to their functions in our body, these food nutrients are divided into three main categories. These are energy giving food, body building foods and protective food. Energy giving food. Carbohydrates and fats are the energy giving foods. Food items containing carbohydrates provide energy to our body and known as energy giving food. Some food items that belong to this group are fruits and vegetables, papaya, potato, sweet potato, melon, mango, grains like maize, wheat, rice, bajra and sugarcane. Food items containing fats also provide energy to our body and these two are known as energy giving foods. Same amount of fats provide more energy than the carbohydrates. Some food items that belong to this group are food items obtained from plant sources, groundnuts, thin and vegetable oils. Food items obtained from animal sources are ghee, cream, butter, eggs, fish, meat and milk. Next group of food nutrients is body building food. Food items containing proteins are known as body building food. Proteins are needed for the growth and repair of our body. Some food items that belong to this group are food items obtained from plant sources, gram, moon, peas, dal, soya bean and beans. Food items obtained from animal sources are paneer, eggs, fish, meat and milk. See how wonderful is the milk. Not only does it give you energy, it also helps in the growth and repair of your body. After the bodybuilding food, the next group of food nutrients is protective food. Food items containing vitamins and minerals are known as protective food. Vitamins help in protecting our body against diseases. Vitamins also help in keeping our eyes, bones, teeth and gums healthy. There are different types of vitamins. The main vitamins needed by the body are Vitamin A Vitamin C, Vitamin D, Vitamin E and K. There is also a group of vitamins called Vitamin B complex. Our body needs all these vitamins in small quantities. Vitamin A keeps our skin and eyes healthy. Vitamin B is an energy building vitamin. It also helps to our heart and muscles health. Vitamin C helps body to fight against many diseases. Vitamin D helps in the absorption of calcium and keeps our bones and teeth healthy. 
Vitamin E helps to protect our cells and tissues from damage. Vitamin K helps in the clogging of the plant. Some food items which are good source of vitamins are as follows. Sources of vitamin A are milk, fish, oil, papaya, mango and carrot. Sources of vitamin B are wheat, rice and liver. Sources of vitamin C are guava, orange, tomato, lemon, amla and green chilies. Sources of vitamin D are milk, butter, fish, egg and liver. You will be surprised to know that sunlight is also a very good source of vitamin D. Our body can prepare vitamin D in the presence of sunlight. Minerals also form an important part of protective food items. Minerals are required for proper growth of body and to maintain good health. Similar to vitamins, minerals are also of different types and are required in small amounts by our body. Various minerals required by our body are iodine, phosphorus, iron and calcium. Some food items which are good source of minerals are as follows. Best source of iodine is seafood like fish, prawn and crab. Other sources are ginger and sea salt. Sources of phosphorus are milk, wheat, banana, green chilies and rice. Sources of iron are apple, pear, liver and spinach. And some sources of calcium are milk and eggs. So, we saw that milk contains almost every nutrient required by the body. It gives us energy and helps in growth and repair of our body. That is why milk is also known as complete food. You have now learned about the sources and functions of various food nutrients. But with these nutrients, a body also needs dietary fibers and water. Dietary fiber or roughage is mainly provided by plant products in our foods. Whole grains and pulses, fresh fruits and vegetables are main sources of roughage. Roughage does not provide us any nutrients but is an essential component of our food. It adds bulk to our food and helps our body in getting rid of undigested food. Similar to other nutrients and fibers, water also is an essential component of our diet. Water helps in dissolving nutrients and transporting them to different parts of the body. It also helps our body to flush out the waste materials like urine and sweat. We get water from the liquids we drink, such as water, milk and tea. Folks, we all love juices, soft drinks, tea etc. And we also know that none of us will be able to survive without water. Our body consists of approximately 70% water and now we will see from where we get the required water and its use for our body. Cut a fruit like tomato, watermelon or lemon or else peel an orange or grate a carrot. 
Now look carefully at your hands. You will notice that your hands will be a little bit wet while doing these jobs. Most of the food items contain water. Various needs of our body are met by this water. Apart from this, we also have water while cooking many food items. So, this is the end of this module. See you soon in the next module.